Identifying a division problem. When we see the little division sign like this one, 12 divided by 3 equals 4, it's kind of obvious that it's a division problem. The 3 is the divisor. But what if we see a fraction? Did you know that fractions are little division problems? This still means 12 divided by 3. It's 4 when it's simplified. You might even see it with a slant like this. That's 12 divided by 3. And this is 12 divided by 3. 3 is going into 12 four times. So just remember that fractions are little division problems. Now if you want to remember the divisor and the dividend, the 12 is the dividend. And an easy way to remember it is, it's got an N here, doesn't it? The N is being divided. If you lift this N up, you can say the, the number is being divided. That's the dividend. It's the number that's being divided. And the 4 is the quotient. That's the answer. Now there's clue words that we can use for word problems that have division. And here's some of them. It might say the quotient of some number and another number, or it might say a number divided by another number or divided into. It might even say the ratio of. It might say half or something's cut up or something goes into something. It might ask you how much for each or the average for each. It might tell you that something is shared equally or it's split into something or it's part of something or it's even per something. They could be grouped into groups. It could be separated into or it may ask how many for each or a number out of another number. There might be equal parts or it just might say each. If you notice, each was used a lot, wasn't it? So here's a division problem. An elevator can carry 2,500 pounds. How many 100 pound people can it carry? Well, we're just gonna divide the 2,500 by the 100 to figure out how many people it can carry. And you might see it with the little division sign like this. You might see it as a fraction. 25 is divided by 100. You might even see it the long division way. 100 can go, can't go into 2, and it can't go into 25, but it can fit into 250 two times, can't it? That would be 200. And what we do is when we write the 2 up here, we then multiply the 2 times the 100 and write it there. We do our subtraction and we get a 5 and a 0 and now it's that 0's turn to come down. 100 goes into 500 5 times and then we do the 5 times 100. See? And we write our 500 and we get a 0. So we know that 25 people will be able to fit on the elevator if they all weigh 100 pounds. And take a look at this one. Bob drove 600 miles in 10 hours. What was his average speed? We're going to divide the 600 into 10 parts, into 10 hours to find his average. So average is a good clue word for division. We could do 600 divided by 10 written like this. We could do it as a fraction like this. We could do it long division. 10 go, can't go into 6, but it can go into 60, can't it? 6 times. And 10 times 6 is 60. So we can do this multiplication. We write our 60 here, we do our subtraction and get a 0, 0. How many times can 10 go into 0? Zero? 0. So we write our 0 up here. 10 times 0 is 0. We subtract and get a 0 remainder. So his average speed was 60 miles an hour. Let's take a look at this one. Tala has 220 books and she can pack 20 books into one box. Now all the boxes are the same size. So how many boxes will Tala need to pack all her books? So she's got 220, and each box is going to carry 20. So we do 220 divided by 20. It can also be written like a fraction like this. In long division, the 20 can't go into the 2, but it can fit into 22 one time. We do our multiplication. 1 times 20 is 20. We subtract. We drop this 2 down in the subtraction, and now it's the zero's turn to come down. 20 goes into 20 one time. We multiply it. We write 1 times 20 is 20 here and subtract and get a zero remainder. So we know she'll need 11 boxes to pack her books. Here's one last one. Tala earned $800 this week. Now if she worked for five days, how much did she earn each day? So that was another one of our clues, wasn't it? The word each. Okay, how many each? 
So we can write it as 800 divided by 5, or 800 over 5, like this, to get a quotient as a fraction. Or we can say 5 goes into 800 how many times? Well, 5 goes into 8 one time. And 5 times 1 is 5. And we write that underneath the 8. We do our subtraction, and we get our 3. Now it's the zero's turn to come down. 5 goes into 30 six times. And 5 times 6 is 30. We subtract that and get a zero. We drop this zero down. 5 goes into zero how many times? Zero times. So we do 5 times 0 and write our 0 and do our subtraction. We get a remainder of 0. So we know she made $160 per day. See? So it's really important to pay attention to the clue words in word problems because they actually tell you whether to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. All right? And remember the different ways a division problem can be written. All right? And that fractions are little division problems. I'll see you next video. Bye.